Yo, what's up, One Pro Rise, your motherfucking boy, Hitman, and, um, <clears throat> I mean, it was a tough back and forth game, but, uh, unfortunately, the Lions lose, uh, 31 to 24, and I gotta say straight up, man, like, the blame goes to the defense, yeah, it made some flashy stops here and there, but, again, the defense just let, let us down today. Just goes to show you that Patricia got some more work to do. I mean, again, I did like some of his uh, I did like some of his aggressiveness early on in the first half, and even some in the third quarter. But it's just like once again, um, I knew that Tyrell Williams and uh, Darren Wall Darren Waller was gonna be a problem, and that's exactly what they became. They became the actual problem. Now, even though the Raiders and their penalties really tried to give this game away to us, it's just that, unfortunately, like, the defense was just given. I mean, basically, Derek Carr could build a hotel behind that offensive line, and he still wouldn't have got touched. Now, without that sack from Dev Devon Kennard, you know, and shout out to Devon Kennard for actually stepping up and making a play. And also Trey Flowers coming in with the sack, too. But, like, at the same time, man, like, come on now. Derek Carr pretty much carved us up. I mean, again, with this lackluster of a pass rush. I mean, again. Patricia, what the hell are you doing? It's like you really ruined this game, man, with your lack of pass rush. I mean, this is getting more ridiculous now, man. I mean, how, how many great games do uh, Marvin Jones have to turn in to actually mean something? Now, I missed something last week because we was facing a rookie quarterback, but you, did you really think we was going to get away with that against Derek Carr? Now, say what you want about Derek Carr, you know, him being a perennial pro bowler and all that, but he was a slight... He was a slight quarterback that is slightly above Daniel Jones. So playoffs twice. You know, even though they got knocked out against the Texans, but you cannot pull this shit against Derek Carr and then expect to win. I'm putting 100% of the blame on Patricia's play calling. I'm putting it on Pascaloni. This defense was not ready to play today. And it clearly showed. I mean, runs for Ty Johnson. Runs from uh, a big catch from McKissick. And you mean to tell me that Patricia had no sense of urgency? I mean, Patricia at Pascaloni, he had, they had no sense of urgency when it come to pass rush. Until it was too late. It didn't matter if it was Darren Waller, that new other tight end, Justin Moreau. Or was it uh, Tyrell Williams? It didn't matter. And then you had a couple of swing pass catches from my man, Zay Jones. And then you let Renfro get a touchdown in the corner? Uh, again, defense big time failed this game. All of it goes to the defense. I don't want to hear shit about uh, Stafford in this game. He actually held up his end of the bargain. And even the O line had uh, sparks of a uh, run blocking very well. Even though, despite it being called back on that slob, Terrell Crosby and and Decker with another holding play, two big runs negated by holding penalties. But again, a hundred percent of blame today goes to the defense, and, and that's just what it is. I, I don't know what to say about Patricia right now. It's like he got exposed again by Derek Carr. I don't know what else to say. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna say on this uh crow. But uh shout out to uh shout out to Raider Ben. Shout out to Watts Raider. Um shout out to Raider 1995. Shout out to uh Pistol 213. I know he don't make videos anymore, but uh I know he chimes in here and there. Shout out to the original Raider. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie from the bay. Yoda, and that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy Hitman, and I'm out.